Just off the boardwalk in Ocean City, you'll find a man who's sculpted a ministry in the sand. Today it's probably more message than it is art. <laughs> the Last Supper, they go, oh, that's a lot of art. Randy Hoffman tries to produce at least one new religious sand sculpture every week between Good Friday and early October. Oh, it'll take, take a whole day. As Randy says, he took over the sand back in 1982. Since then, he says he's done at least a thousand of those sand sculptures. Most seem to love his work. The ordained minister thinks he knows why. The, the charmingness of the sand sculptures uh, put Jesus in a good light. or that people like Jesus, they put up with my sand sculptures. Hoffman pays attention to every line. No, I hit a pocket dry and the whole thing caved in, so see, we didn't do it correctly. Every particle of sand. Ocean City sand is the best quality sand for sunbathing. For sand sculpting, uh, it's a little more difficult because it's so pure. And as in life, a switching up perspective is often key. Oh yeah, boy, he's got the bright eyes. He's like amazed eyes. But to ensure the sculptures yeah. stick, windy days require an extra dose of his glue mixture. This big head of Jesus is good for a windy day and pre-season kind of, um, so it'll hold up better. The trained oil painter pairs his artistic eye with an educational background in advertising and communication. I never thought I'd be like communicating the Bible story. Sharing parables, the preacher says, sometimes even inspire him. I'm looking at it, and uh, it's like, ah, oh, good to be alive again. For Heart and Soul, Kimberly Wiggins, WBOC News.